Hello, this is Carol Arnold with Listability, and today I'm doing a tutorial that's fairly advanced. Um, I happen to know that even though we get information from all the counties, or a lot of counties across the country every month, it's not all perfect, and there are some records on our database that haven't been coded with the purchase date. The county didn't provide it to us, so we haven't been able to put it on the file. In this case, I've run a report with 3,000 records, and it's based on seniors, home size, loan to value, both owner occupied and absentee in various Miami zip codes. So if I'm going to add the date, I'll come up to additional selections, all selections, and type in, this is a shortcut, type in purchase. It comes up with the purchase date, and I'll type in 01, 01, 1952, 01, 01, and recalculate to see how many there are. And whoa, that dropped way down from 3,000 to 234. So we know there's a lot on here that are not coded with the purchase date. So this is a several step process. The first one we want to do is want to suppress account. We're going to run a new count and we're going to put it from 2000 to today and we're going to suppress it. So suppression, I'm going to say suppress current. So we want to enable to suppress this count from future count. Suppression means to eliminate. So we're going to be eliminating all the records in this count from a future one. The next step is we're going to go down to this one per all per and we're going to change it from to all records per owner because someone might have five properties that they purchased that fits this criteria they purchased since 2000 so we want to make sure all of those five properties are suppressed from the next count and now we're going to come down to purchase date and the purchase date we're going to change instead of saying from 1950 we're going to say from 2000 till today and I'm going to come down to reports <clears throat> reports is your friend Leave it, a, leave it a break by geography. Next. All the boxes are checked. Doesn't matter on this one, but we're going to call this one suppression. So there's no doubt about what's what in this report and submit report. When you can make a copy, go up to previous counts. You can see this suppression. Here was the original one. Here's our suppression count. Make a note that this is 31. So we're going to go back, go back in and make a copy of that count. And we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is change that one per, that all per records per owner back to one. We're also going to come up to this purchase date and we don't want that anymore so I'm going to just click click on the red X over here next to the purchase date that deletes the purchase date come up to suppression now we're going to suppress counts and I can either type in the one that we just did or I can come up here because I remember it was 31 and check the box and add selected codes so now this is a count that has all of my original criteria, which is age, square footage, loan to value, single family, only it's suppressing all the records that were in the count that has records that were per, per, uh, properties that were purchased from 2000 till today. So I'm going to come back down to reports. Reports is my friend. Leave a breakdown by geography. And search description, I'm going to say X date after 2000. And scroll down to reports. Come up, look at previous counts again. And here we go. Our original had 3,000. We've eliminated 783 records that were purchased after 
2000 or after, and we're left with 2229. Now this isn't perfect, but it's the best way to to be able to market to these people without limiting it to just those 300 where we had the purchase date prior to 2000 on the file. And that's it for today. Good luck with your investing. This is Carol Arnold with Listability.